Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, the Kaka Dash. Your mind is to the apostles. We bring news on the teaching of the world, teach the blessings to the elect. I would bring news on Dallas Parents and the brother of Benaya, that the Lord is likewise, the Lord is the Father. I would like to know that you're going to be in the end. You know what I'm saying? Coming back into the weekend, we got the prophets out of downfall in this wicked kingdom of America, man. Don't just Babylon the Great in the Bible, man. All right, and also to tell our people. All right, like the boy that commended us, you know what I'm saying? To lift up my voice like a trumpet and show our people their transgression. All right, in the house of Jacob, their sins, man. You see? To tell our people to repent before the Lord. All right, about to, because the Lord is about to bring great judgment, just like he did during the time of Noah, man. You see? That's why you, that's why you always shine light at the time when he when he should be revealed unto the days of Noah and unto the days of Lot, man. You see? I want to, uh, I got something real quick. This Luke chapter, uh, chapter 12, and verse, uh, 54, it says, and he said also to the people, when you see a cloud rise out of the west, straightway he say, there cometh a shower, and so it is. And when you see the south wind blow, he say, there will be heat, and it cometh to pass. Ye hypocrites, ye can discern, you can discern the face of the sky and of the earth, but how is it that ye do not, uh, not discern this sign? See? A lot of people can like like the house that was uh, saying, man. They can tell when it's gonna rain. You know, they can tell how my own spot is acting up. See, they can tell when it's gonna be hot. But here it is, they can't tell that they're in the end times, man. With all the shit, all the shit that's going on, man. Because the house shot, all right. He gave us, uh, uh, he gave us clues uh, on what will be taking place on the planet Earth, all right. During the time for uh, around this time when he should be returning, all right. For that second coming, man. See, he said there's gonna be wars and rumors of wars. Take a place on the 
planet Earth wants to come to weather, man. See, from extreme drought to fires everywhere, not only in Maui, but all across the planet Earth right now. All of these are signs, and then we start making blood moons, putting different signs, uh, signs of the heavens, the chariots are a sign of the end, man. See, but our people, can, they, they still can't discern what time it is, man. You have Christians, they'll tell you that, that they don't believe that the, uh, you know, that who the word didn't call Jesus is going to come back in their time. They believe that they're gonna they're gonna die and they gonna you know what I'm saying they're gonna they gonna get to watch their kids graduate and they'll die and their kids kids will still be here in America man see which shows you that they don't understand prophecy man yeah John that goes into Jeremiah the, uh, the, the eight chapter it goes into uh, I got that that's that it yeah that's all I'm free y'all want to go this is Jeremiah chapter eight and verse seven it reads it reads yeah the stork in the heavens North her appointed times, and the turtle and the crane and the swallow observe the time of their coming. But my people know not the judgment of the Lord. Yeah, man. The nation of Israel doesn't understand the time of the Lord. They don't understand the judgment. They don't understand, uh, like the brother read in that, in that scripture, uh, Matthew, Matthew, where it talks about uh, Luke, 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 Luke. Yeah, Luke, Luke, where they, you know, you want to when they see through, they look at the skies, they can tell. Well, the weather and the time of day, they they can't they don't understand the, the judgment of the Lord, man. They they can't tell like okay, well you know what, we in no time. You know like the Lord is really getting ready to destroy this place, but like the brothers mentioned before uh, or when the video started, you know it's gonna be like the time of Noah, man. They're gonna be eating and drinking. You got it? No, no, I got it. Yeah, you did. They're gonna be eating and drinking. You know, marrying and giving up to marriage, same, same, uh, doing the same thing that they were doing back in that, in those, in those ancient times.
someone who is selfish to be rich. What use is money for a stingy person? It says, if you deny yourself in order to accumulate wealth, you are only accumulating it for someone else. Others will use your riches to live in luxury. See, just like what we read in that parable of the house house. Like the house house was saying about that rich man who ground brought forth plenty. See, he thought he had it. He said, oh, shoot, he had the building old going down to build, build big ones. He tore out his food. Then he said, now I'm about to chill. That same night, the Lord required his soul, man. Nigga died, and all that was for who? For nothing, man. See, because he, he wasn't rich, you know. He wasn't rich, he wasn't a heavenly father, man. See, how about sitting outside? He didn't start no treasure in heaven, man. Now is the time when brothers are doing right now, showing up these treasures, man. But this is true wealth that's going to really shine in the time to come, man. Like I said, all this fucking money that these people are putting right now, it's not going to matter, man. Like the scripture say, man, silver and gold is not going to pay. Hey, they ain't going to pay for the day of the Lord's wrath, man. Chapter 5, he said, it's said, cast that silver and gold in the street. Man, it ain't gonna matter during that time, man. In that time of an event. Also, the world time is going through a time of crisis. See? First Thessalonians 5 and 1. He said, now concerning how and when, this is NLT, how and when all this will happen, dear brothers and sisters. Don't really need to write unto you, for you quite, for you know quite well that the day of the Lord return will come unexpectedly like a thief in the night, and it's going to be at uh, the other mention a certain event. There's going to be certain events that's going to happen for the day of the, the, the when the Lord actually makes His return upon the earth. All right, there's going to be certain events that's going to happen. These events that's going to happen, you know, the money is not going to pay you these times. No, we're already in an inflation. Hey, Lord, we see the progression that it's going to become a hyperinflation. You see, the rich nation is basically coming together to do what? To try to cut off that dollar. All these things are happening for what? For that to, for that to happen. Now, you're going to think you're going to be splurging in the time of uh, 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 hyperinflation? You ain't going to want to splurge. You ain't going to pull out that, that expensive $100,000, $120,000 car when nobody ain't, they can't buy a bag of rice. They're going to take that. They're going to take everything you get. They might take your life. That's why the Lord says it's going to come in the thief of the night. All of this is going to come up when the day of the Lord is coming. Things ain't going to get better. So you think your money's going to save you? All right? You think your your, uh, your assets going to save you? No. Only th only thing that's going to deliver you out of the, the bad time, as it says, is being denied, is the Lord. And that's why I said in the NLT, it said, I don't have to write it to you. Right. Right. Because the Lord had gave me the understanding of it. See? That's what the Timothy. Uh, James chapter 4 and verse uh, 13. It says, Go to now, ye that say, Today or tomorrow we will go into such a city and continue there a year and buy and sell and get gain. Whereas ye know not what shall be on the morrow. For what is your life? It is even a vapor that appeareth for a little time and then vanishes away. For ye ought to say, If the Lord will, we shall live and we shall do this and that. Man. Right. See? You people working overtime and say, like I said, going back to the point, you make up money for what? Your ass gonna your ass ain't die tomorrow. Then what? All that money that you have broke your back, you have broke your back for working overtime and you know, see? Now it's, it's, it's gonna go to somebody else, man. And like the brother said, um, on the inflation. You can already tell right now when you go to these grocery stores and you come out with a fucking basket, man. You, you have about three or four items and that shit over fifty dollars, man. See? And it's only gonna get worse from here, man. See? But like the Lord said, man, even like, even in that same chapter in Luke, I think it's in, in chapter twelve, it talks about it tells us to don't don't worry about what you shall eat and what you shall drink. See? Because the Lord, the Lord is basically gonna provide, man. See? He's not gonna provide for these people. Why? Because they're not taking that time. All right, they're not, they're not taking heed up to the message. Right. They're not, they're not repenting and turning back unto the Lord while the opportunity is, is available. They're living their lives. They're not giving a fuck, man. See? They, that's why they walk up and down the street. They're at the art gallery. They're they busting up a new art gallery right here. So niggas are filling it up. So here's the true message of salvation right before their eyes when they walk past it, man. See, you best believe when this shit pop off, they will be looking for the man of the Lord, man. They're going to be going to ask them. Their pastor's not going to have it. All right, Dr. Umar Johnson's not going to have it. Light not gonna have it. Uh, uh, Louis Farrakhan, yeah, Louis Farrakhan not gonna have it. Joe Biden, Donald Trump not gonna have it. Barack Obama ain't gonna have it for you niggas, man. 
our salvation is nearer than what we believe. You know? Truth in the world, we, I thought, we thought that shit, man. Lord, God, I'm going to be old and real in my life. Right. Now, you come into this truth, you realize, like, yo, time is short. You realize the difference, my brother. Like, matter of fact, I got to this in Second Hebrews 14, verse 11, for the world is divided into 12 uh, blocks. Verse 10, it says, for the world has lost its use. Matthew uh, 24 and 37. But as the days of Noah were, so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. For after the days, for after the days that were before the flood, they were eating and drinking, marrying and giving in marriage until the day that Noah entered into the ark.
hurt the whole earth is hurt. He's talking about everybody on that damn vibration. Going back to the Psalm chapter 2. Yeah, and these heathen, they want to they wanna break the chains of the heavenly father anyway, man. See? They want to be free from the, from, uh, uh, the heavenly father, man. That's why they set these agendas up. That's why they, that's why they got the big names and all this stuff.
Saying, 